Good everyone to another episode of Brino's World. On this week's episode, I'm going to be making something a little easy, but also a little bit fun and tasty as well. As you can tell from the title above, I'm going to be making bacon hummus. Yes, two things that seem to be polar opposites of each other. Healthy, beany, sesame seed, flavory hummus. And super fatty, super tasty, super salty, super awesome bacon. How would you think they would go together? Actually a little bit easier than you think, or so I hope. Anyway, I'm getting started right now by preheating this oven here so I can cook these six strips of bacon. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to incorporate them into the hummus. And I'll show you how I'm gonna do that a little bit later on. But right now, I'm just waiting for the oven to finish preheating so I can get to cooking the bacon. All right, the oven is done preheating, so now I'm gonna put these slices of bacon in for about 18 minutes or until they're just about done cooking. There we go. Oh, wow. I keep forgetting how hot these ovens are. Yeah. Timer set for 18 minutes. Now we wait. Okay, it's been 18 minutes. Turn that timer off. Clear the stove and yank the bacon out of this oven. Oh, I, I, I. Um, smoke or stuff. Ah, ha, ha, ha. But that looks like some cooked bacon to me. So now I'm gonna work kind of quick because I'm going to use this bacon grease further on in this project. But to do that, Let's get to actually making the hummus. So let's start with the first two ingredients. First, a little bit of tahini, which is basically sesame seed paste, and some lemon juice. First with the tahini, about a quarter cup should do. Tahini. Equal part of lemon juice. All right, so next we're gonna put in about a clove of garlic. This is roughly one clove. You'll just have to trust me here. Followed by half a teaspoon each of salt. Follow that with half a teaspoon of cumin. And at this point I would normally put in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, but instead I'm gonna replace that with the bacon grease from our bacon cooking in that pan over there. That is, if I have two tablespoons of bacon grease to use, this is one. And in fact, I do. And now we puree it even more. At this point, I'm now going to take four and a half of those slices of bacon, crumble them up, and puree them even further in here. Just so you can see that that is bacon. Little taste test. That is definitely bacon. All right, in goes the bacon. Now before I blend the bacon into it, I'm actually gonna put in some of the uh, garbanzo beans. Just have something to mix the bacon and stuff into. So I'm gonna add half of them to my food processor. It's gonna be sort of a gradual process. That's roughly half, I'd say. Blend it up with the bacon. Still, let's add the rest of the garbanzo beans. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I'm feeling a little more of a crunching noise in this food processor. I wonder if that's still some pieces of bacon that aren't fully crunched yet, but this is at the place. Well, I see a piece of bacon that's not fully crunched yet, so that may affect the consistency and flavor of this. So let's, let's have a little check of the consistency of the taste here. Oh my goodness. I mean, back and forth between the hummus flavor and the bacon flavor, although 
The hummus flavor is definitely dominating. I think that might just actually more be the uh, cumin adding the flavor to it, so I wonder if maybe reducing the cumin might, or even eliminating it altogether, might help out with it. But let's add some water to smooth it out just a fraction. Yoink! The consistency looks pretty good. All right, I think this is at the right consistency. Before I put the hummus into this container though, there's a strip and a half of bacon left, which I'm gonna crumble into larger pieces and mix it in just by hand into this container here. There is one and a half strips of bacon manually crumbled. Let's mix it in with the hummus. Here we go. Uh-huh. Splat. All right, I got the hummus in this container. Let's add us some bacon pieces. Now let's stir this in by hand. Okay, I've got me some bacon hummus right here. Let's taste it. And of course, in typical Brian's World fashion, I forgot to get something to dip into this hummus, so I've got a spoon here, which I used to mix it, so I'm just gonna eat this stuff whole. But again, the first few tastes I had of this, I feel like the cumin was kind of overpowering a lot of the bacon flavor, so I might have to remove that next time. What I did basically was I copied, combined two hummus recipes, one my normal one, and the other one that I saw that added bacon to it. If I remember, I'll put the recipes for both of them in the description below. So anyway, let's taste what I got here. Bacon hummus. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's the same as what I've been saying before. The cumin has kind of overpowered the flavor of the bacon. I think if I do this again, next time I will completely omit the cumin as it, again, a little bit of cumin goes a long way in any kind of recipe, no matter what it is. And I think it's overpowered the bacon here, so I may have to revisit this probably sooner rather than later because I want me some bacon hummus that really tastes like bacon and the cumin prevented me from doing that. I'm still totally gonna eat this though because hummus is good. Bacon hummus didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted to, but I learned something in the end and that's really all that matters. Next time, take out the cumin. I don't think, I don't know if I should add more bacon to it. I think it's fine the way it is as far as quantity of bacon, but just one little change next time, maybe in a few weeks, we'll see what happens. Well, that'll do it for another episode of Brian's World. Thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you see here, leave a comment down below. Always don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell icon, wherever it is, to be first to be notified of Brian's World videos. Once again, thanks for watching, and have yourself a good one.